Welcome to Voyages of Mentopia. This is a series, and it would be it would take a long time for you to watch every single episode at once. So be sure to check every single day if a new episode has come out. So, now to this episode, which is episode 11, Thornia. Thornia's land was very small, though very valuable. Vendopia bought it for seven, 70 billion vows, which is 490 U.S. dollars, and they lost it in war. It was ruled by Prince Pike, the nephew of King Point. Old residents of Ventopia used to call it Battleground, for it was the setting for the First Ventopian War. The, the Ventopia took war took, First Ventopian War took place 100,000 laps slash years ago. After Ventopia gave supplies for war, Thornia's people turned against Ventopia with their upgraded defenses. which resulted in a war 10 laps last years later. The war was short, but the damage was much. The Ventopian castle was set to flames in the lap 100. That's when the castle was rebuilt. The Ventopian protectors walked through some fog to get to Thornia. They were investigating the base. But what they found was surprising. It was a giant black crow, and it was cawing very loudly. Stay in position, Hugh said, trying to throw his knife. But the crow was atop atop the castle and was coming their way. We all equipped their shield, but the crow used its talons to tear down their defense. The crow then picked up the warriors by their tunic collars and started to fly. Sam stabbed his sword into the crow, causing it to fall from the sky. Cloud, we have said. We have said, as the land globe grew a cloud under the Ventopian protectors. Phew, they all sighed in relief.